Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a video showing you guys the best tiger setup. Um, if you're gonna use supports, especially if you're gonna use two, you definitely wanna have a tiger because the tiger protects your rear. So first things first, early game, you don't wanna prioritize your tanks too much. You don't wanna put too much into them because you wanna make sure that you're still doing enough DPS while um, still having enough uh, materials and everything for, you know, your supports and everything else. So how do you make the best tank, right? So first thing you want to do is remove, because I know you have it, remove all your attacking uh, auras away from the tank. All of them. I don't want to see... Um, I don't want to see any Azura Furies. I don't want to see any Vicious Strikes. I don't want to see any any kind of um, aura that isn't healing in your tank. This is what I have, but, you know, as long as you have something along the lines of defense or health, it'll work out. Um, I have a turtle sh uh, shell right here. I was uh, lucky enough to get the shine one um, that... When attacked by an enemy with lower defense, reduces your own damage by 60%. Um, increased defense by 70 during battles and max HP. Ignore res. Here I have Angel Guard, which is really good and has been really helping me out. I was able to defeat someone with 3 million more CP than me. Um, thanks to this build. Um, I have a Corroded Blade, which is i would i would classify it as a defense or just because it decreases damage that, um taken okay and it breaks the shield of enemies here you have tactical change which is it, it's pushing it a little bit but it does both so it's okay tactical change right here increased skill damage and converts 53 of your attack to defense when taking skill damage which is pretty decent like i said you can find probably like one or two that you might want to switch with this although i like this because it still benefits all the people around me you know that's what i try to go for when i made this build but more importantly let's go on to the the auras the limited auras tiger strike tiger blood tiger roar and tiger ages the reason why i did this because i know there's one i know there's one that doesn't have um there you go okay no actually they're both okay that's uh, all right so they complement each other and they're but they're the thing is they're all healing they're all healing me see here they're all healing me and this is very important. I want everyone to take a note on this. When an attack is blocked, has a 50% chance to restore HP equals 6.4 max HP. And uh, when Tiger Aegis is in effect, the HP restoration of the skill increases to 9.42. reason why I want you to take a pen, uh, pay attention to this is because if it's blocked, right? So what do you want to do? You want to start increasing its um, its block rate, right? How do you do that? So down where it says um mount and then you go to mount mastery now you go over here all right so once you go to this you'll see here that the block rate i'm not there yet but as soon as i get there just think about it as soon as i max out this block rate to 60 it's gonna be ridiculous like it's already ridiculous like i beat the number eight who was Three million more um, CP than me, because he's just he's just taking all the hits. He's healing my teammates. He's keeping them alive long enough so that my three uh well I have two crowd controls that do stuns and but they're all three stunts in total. So they definitely protect it. They definitely keep them alive long enough. And then I have my my um my damage dealer who also can stay alive pretty well on its own. So that's why I don't need a pagoda. All right, so those are the auras that I would use. Now for the talents for this build, I have this maxed out. 
damage received by basic attack is increased. I have this maxed up. Increase HP. I have this maxed. Received uh, basic attack increased. Um, I would just if you're if you don't have enough talent points, I would just stop at strengthening uh, strengther, because that that's pretty much all you need. You don't really need this. Um, I pro I'm probably going for something down here. Yeah, see, so um on this side, this side's really important. You want um when poison burn stunned or entangled, skill damage goes up. Um, I I just try to get to the next one. All right. So, because that's not one that was important. Like, for this one. I probably just accidentally put in six. I could have kept it at five. Um, here, we have... Has a 15 chance to reduce 80% skill damage. That's what you need. Those are the kind of things you need. Alright. Here you have um, six after the release of uh, soul skill. Increased defense by 60. That's another thing you need. And then Tiger Shield, activate a shield that absorbs damage equals to attack times 30 when HP is below 25. And then here, last one, you have has a 20% chance to nullify damage when attacked. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Just think about that. Now, on Aura, this right side is really amazing. This is just uh, Tiger Starfall. Will inflict, um, inflict a 42 decrease in damage effect. On enemy for three seconds. Um, that's not the big deal. That's not the big deal about all this, but it's okay. Tiger Aegis will cast an explosion that inflicts 12% ASP decrease on enemy for four seconds. And remember, you're fighting those back row enemies with high ASP. So that's very important. I'm actually going to max this out as soon as I can. Um, but I was just trying to get to the what's down there really fast this is also good for pve but you don't want to max that out first you want to just get straight to it three here replenish 45 soul upon tiger roar just trying to get through it i'll get that done later when hp is below 70 percent tiger roar will gain a six percent damage effect okay also try to get through that one with within three seconds after the activation of tiger blood increased damage increase immune all right so this is big increase immunity to stun poison entangle and burn if you're stunned you can't heal you can't stay alive right so that's why you want to start looking for cards that give you those immunities help those immunities I would actually add this with a card that I have if I had enough I'll show you the aura later I have an aura that gives you um, bonus immunity. I would probably add that to your to my uh, tiger later on, and then reborn. When HP is below sixty five, thirty two percent of the damage received within six seconds after the explosion of tiger ages will convert into HP. Listen to that. Like you are not going to die <laughs> if you are facing someone who didn't put um, a smart setup around their uh around around what they're building they're just putting things on and then relying on their cp you're gonna be able to run through these guys like nothing because while they're messing around with your tiger all your other characters are going to be able to do what they need to do and it's going to be over really fast okay so those are the things that you should prioritize i'm just going to go real slowly here and just show you what i'm working on Okay. Here you have Warsaw again. Okay. And in general I have just this, just this for now. And I am a Magister V. Magister five. Alright, so that's what I have there. Okay. And for the what I'm doing right now with the armor, I'm trying to maximize his armor now now that i have set up completely my damage dealers i am now focusing on getting his defense up so he can get those buffs i want him to have the highest defense all right so he has um 249k defense he just has you know 77k 
34. I'm able to upgrade all their other stats and stuff just because I don't have to really worry about um, how their defense is. I just go straight into this dude with all that defense and all that health regen, you know? So that is my Tiger build. If you have any questions, we have a Discord. You can come ask me. Come ask the people there. Um, you can write in the comment section. But most importantly, make sure that you are subscribing make sure that you are paying attention to my videos because i'm going to be uploading way more videos more advanced videos videos for beginners videos if you want to go onto a new server and start fresh and do it right anything like that it's going to be there in some time um if i missed anything just ask me in the comment section and we'll get it done all right that's my time